So tomorrow is the parade. Uh, it's that Friday at 2 o'clock. And some have asked, you know, Mayor, you know, I've seen on the Twitter, on, on the social media, you know, I do this. They said, Mayor, why not on Saturday? And uh, I think Susan can attest, when you're trying to balance schedules, uh, the player schedule, number one. You know, my Major League Baseball MLB obligations. Uh, Friday was the day that we had to do it. Um, and we pushed it back as far as we could in the day. So, you know, it's not at 10, not at, it's at 2 o'clock. It's at 2 o'clock. We pushed it back as far as we could. I'm still encouraging parents to take their kids to school. At least get them on the roll as being there. <laughs> get them on the roll as being there. Sign them in. <laughs> and then at lunchtime, go and pick them up. <laughs> and, uh, but tomorrow, uh, I am encouraging, and I know the city council members will join me in saying this, and I do want to hear from them as well, is that tomorrow, let's come and this is a we moment tomorrow. The Astros, to say thank you to the Astros for never giving up, to say thank you for winning, and then for the people in, in the city and quite frankly in our region, to say to the rest of the world, we are Houston strong. Yes. Yeah. And we are, we are here. So um, let's show up, let's show up tomorrow at 2 o'clock uh, like never before. Um, let's have the largest, the largest championship parade that has ever been seen in the state of Texas. Uh, let's show up, let's show up in a major way. And so that's going to be tomorrow at 2. And Susan, I'm going to let you tell us what the, what the route will be. Okay, why don't you come and do that? I and can then, now tell all of our friends in the media we have a parade. So don't be hating on me for pushing your uh, phone calls away uh, uh, all week long. Uh, listen, you know, we're going to follow uh, a parade route that's uh, very similar to Thanksgiving. Of course, we know that that route can handle uh, a lot of people. We know that that route uh, can handle the style of parade that we're uh, working on. We'll start at Lamar, uh, Smith at Lamar. We'll go north to Walker, east uh, to, to Milo, down Milo uh, to um, Pease. Then we'll cut back west uh, to Smith, back up north uh, to Lamar. Uh, after the celebration, of course, we'll wind up here uh, with almost every one of the players, the coaches, their families, uh, lots of exciting things in, exciting units in this parade. And if we mentioned confetti, we'll have uh, about a ton of it, uh, shooting from 20 sites, 16 buildings, uh, and also uh, four ground sites. So, look, we're bringing them back in style. The mayor said, let's do it. Uh, of course, we are putting all of our resources, have been working. In fact, the Chiefs and I are up all night planning this thing. A uh, little joke. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a grand uh, event. We'll start closing uh, the route at uh, 12 o'clock, uh, and then uh, at, at 12 o'clock we'll start closing uh, staging areas. Uh, also at 1 o'clock we'll close the route itself. Uh, we'll have McKinney Street off-ramp, uh, off 45 closed, uh, and, but all other exits will be open off of 45. We encourage uh, you to chart uh, how you're going to get here, where you're going to park, but more, more so, we want you to be prepared to ride Metro Rail. We've been working with Metro, and uh, it's very important. Obviously, it's a work day, uh, so please ride the rail, ride the bus, be prepared. Uh, and come ready to have a grand celebration that we know only Houstonians can do, and that is good, clean, family, community celebration for our Houston Astros champions. Uh, but this week, it's really important Friday for people to realize we live in a different world now. Uh, please be vigilant. Please pay attention. We're going to have all hands on deck. But we saw what happened in New York City. It just takes one fool to turn this around. So uh, I want everybody to have fun. I think the mayor wants everybody to have fun. But our eyes and ears are the public that we serve. If you know something that's suspicious out there, let us know. Uh, you're going to see us be much more visible. We may be a lot more visible in terms of the type of uh, armor we're going to be wearing, in terms of the weapons we'll be carrying, because we need to be able to stop any threat. So again, uh, to the people this uh, Friday, please come early. 
be patient, use mass transit if at all possible, but most importantly, if you see something suspicious, something that looks out of place, do not uh, ignore it, call 911. If you send somebody, especially sitting in a, in a large vehicle, a truck, that doesn't appear to have a reason, they're not loading or offloading, they're, they don't appear to have a purpose to be there, call 911. If in doubt, call 911. Treat the entire parade route, the city around parade route, as a secure area like you would at the airport, and whatever you would call the uh, police for in the airport, call us there. So again, Mayor, thank you for, uh, thank you for the privilege of being with you on this ride. It has been the ride of a lifetime, and now we have Toma Fertitta and the Rockets, who are looking good this year. We might be back here in a few months. <laughs> All right, the catcher on the team is this fire chief, Sam Kenya. <laughs> chief Kenya. Thank you, Mayor. First of all, I want to congratulate the uh, world champion Houston Astros for their incredible win and for lifting the spirit of, a, of the entire city. Uh, they really embody what this city is all about in tenacity, grit, persistence, and uh, I think that's, uh, that's what we're about. You know, we've been demonstrating that throughout the year. Um, we're looking forward to the uh, celebration tomorrow. Um, we're working closely with our partners in public safety and certainly uh, the Office of Special Events with Susan Christian here. Um, and it's going to be a, an excellent event. Um, again, I want to reiterate what, the, what uh, my brother has said already in, in, in that we encourage everybody to be vigilant. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, if, if you see something, say something. It's a, it's a force multiplier. We need the, uh, the uh, public to be enjoying themselves, but we also need them to be part of the, uh, of the security effort. Um, what I want to do right now is, uh, <clears throat> is present uh, our coach, our general manager, and our cleanup hitter, uh, certainly with a, a little token of, of our appreciation as his team. You know, um, I think what the, what the Astros have demonstrated is that the team is important and also a, uh, a deep bullpen, right? Uh, so, from our hearts, uh, Mayor, we appreciate what you've done for this for the city. We appreciate what you've done for us as as uh, your your employees and your team. And we couldn't be more proud of you and the city of Houston. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The karma in this in this city is simply amazing, simply incredible. Uh, let me just close with this, and I'll take we're taking whatever questions. We're series seven games. Uh, one uh, stands for resiliency, that's what we're about. Two is for diversity. Three, relatively young. Four, calm under pressure. Five, ready to pick up uh, each other up. Six, we're space oriented. And seven, 51 inches of rain and a 5-1 clincher. It just doesn't get any wow. better than that for the World Series. Um, I also want to acknowledge that uh, uh, the mayor of L.A., Mayor Garcetti, Eric Garcetti, and I exchanged several uh, texts last night, and, <laughs> as well as some tweets, um, but he could not have been more gracious. He's a friend, could not have been more gracious, and simply said, as much as he wanted the L.A. Dodgers to win, he also recognized how important the World Series was for the city of Houston, and so he wishes us the very best. He also indicated that... Uh, he will be sending his Korean barbecue yeah. and, uh, and, his, and his brew uh, from L.A. But then he ends up saying, you know, but send me the killing barbecue at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so I certainly want to thank L.A. Now let me stop. Any questions you all may have with regards to security, anything else, the planning for tomorrow uh, that we uh, have, can ask? Yes, sir. Yes, Mayor, why is the parade route not going by Minute Maid Park? By Minute Maid, okay. Why is it not going by Minute Maid? You'll, you'll notice that we have moved all of our grand parades on this side of town, and that's for good reason. Uh, number one, we cannot go in beneath the rail. We have very tall, um, uh, very tall units. We have balloons uh, at most of our grand events, and this, of course, is one of those. Also, a championship parade uh, has to be ticker tank, and that's tradition, and we're going to do it in a big way. We don't really have that opportunity over at Minute Maid. But let me also say that we've been working with the Astros organization, uh, with their foundation as well, as the Downtown Management District, Houston First. And we're all, we all speak in one voice, just like we do on the operations side, uh, with uh, our friends and our sister departments, the police department, the fire department, and so many others. 
Uh, we know this is the best route. It can accommodate the most people. It has the uh, smallest amount of construction that we can tuck up. So for all of these reasons, uh, we believe that this is the best way to present the city of Houston and our victory parade. Um, to follow up on that, can you talk about the road closures and why you're planning on closing them as early as you are, kind of the strategy behind that? Yes, sir. Uh, we're expecting a half a million people down here. That's uh, easily what we got in 1994 uh, with uh, another little championship parade that you know about uh, with, the, with the Rockets. Also in 1995, we had even more than that. Uh, so what we know is that there will be a lot of really avid fans that will start setting up shop at 8 o'clock. And, uh, and so we've got to be ready for that. We've got to, you know, uh, we work a lot of events uh, throughout the years. And um, we're fortunate, Chief, to have a lot of the same team members that I've been working with for 20, 25 years. We know our crowds. We know what they do. Uh, we're ready to close if we need to close earlier, if we need to. Special operations uh, uh, in the police department. They're the best uh, events uh, security team uh, in the nation. And I say that with great pride and great confidence. Uh, but we're closing it early, uh, sir, because we'll have a lot of people down here. And uh, I also want to encourage everyone to go to HoustonTX.gov uh, slash Astros, and you can get all of those detailed closings. We're also closing them not all at the same time, except when it's ready to shut down for the route. Uh, but we're, we're closing them incrementally uh, to take care of what we need to take care of to have a secure and safe and very fun event. Susan, can you talk about just how long you had to uh, plan this parade? Like I said, the two chiefs and I and a couple of people planned it overnight. No, <laughs> that's not the way it works. <laughs> right? <laughs> 56 years ago, we've been more... That is exactly right. Um, you know, we... When they got into the playoffs, we both went, hmm. I mean, we all went, hmm. And as they each stepped more, and, uh, you know, we rolled 45 events a week out of my office, um, but uh, you, you just can't hold the special events team down. They're coming to me for, hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? I have the best team as well. Uh, but we're also talking, uh, you know, in a very... Co uh, confidential manner uh, with those partners. Again, they're so important to us. Certainly the Houston Astros, all of our departments who will be a part of this, the Downtown Management District, who's not only providing uh, uh, sponsorship, but also people. Um, I, and Houston First, who's providing assets. Uh, Coca-Cola will be bringing in uh, 70,000 plus units. Uh, it's going to be warm tomorrow. And you know, safety is very important to us, and so they'll be giving away product. Uh, we have Anheuser Busch. No, they're not giving away that kind of product, but they will also be uh, distributing thousands and thousands of uh, uh, units of water. And this is important. You know, everyone wants to be a part of this celebration, uh, and they know uh, that people are going to need help as well. So we want to accommodate and make people as comfortable as possible. Well, we, we have some surprises. We've been working on some of those surprises, just kind of layering them on for about two weeks. Uh, but that's what happens. You know, everyone knows this when you kind of think about it. But you don't really get the full picture until you start seeing things roll down and you're like, how do they do that? Well, you know, we have a little bit else working. But let me tell you, we have a, a great uh, support to the special events industry of amazing artists. You'll be seeing some of that art. Uh, rolling down the parade route. Any um, technical information you should be aware of as far as like shooting and shooting the parade by with security precautions? Filming the parade. Yeah, we will, what we will do is send out a release. I have uh, not only with. She, she, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Um, uh, we'll, be, we'll be sending that information out uh, through Mayor's Communications Office. So I have. Uh, Kim Steinbaker working with Alan and Darian, uh, and Kim is right over to your right, I left, and they'll be giving you detailed information uh, today. Mayor, <laughs> one more question uh, from back of the station. They're wondering if you've heard anything about 
school being let out tomorrow at noon, or are you recommending anything? Well, the reason why we pushed it to 2 o'clock is because we do want kids, parents to take their kids to school tomorrow uh, to at least register. <laughs> Bear in mind that uh, schools get paid on uh, attendance, uh, cap, uh, on the attendance per capita and um, water. And, uh, and so when they do the enrollment, uh, TEA, Texas Education Agency, determines how much money they will soon send to the school districts based on that attendance, weighted attendance per day. And so uh, they should uh, at least go and get their kids registered uh, and attend, you know, like, uh, you know, first few classes. Uh, and then we, anticip we, anticip we anticipate a lot of people coming to downtown area. I mean, the reality is when you had over what, uh, Sold out, sort of, uh, not sold out, but um, the attendance over at the uh, uh, Minute Maid for the last two games being, you know, close to crazy, 20,000 each night. And we anticipate a lot of people coming tomorrow. Uh, in the past, we, as Susan said, we've had as many as, uh, as a half million before. Quite frankly, tomorrow, uh, our hope is that we will have at least about 750,000 people in the downtown area. Um, you know, New York has gotten easily a million people, you know. Competitive spirit just says that, you know, you know, it certainly would be nice to have an article that says one million people came to the downtown area. Uh, that would just, I know that would just be uh, crazy for, for Chief Acevedo and Chief Pena. Uh, but, you know, this one is, this one is personal. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a huge attendance.